In the first year of the sweet corn experiment with plastic mulches at North Dakota State University, tests conducted found that using mulches in North Dakota can be a benefit in a number of ways. There was a 2.32 degrees Celsius increase in the mean soil temperature between no mulch and the clear plastic mulch. The sweet corn emergence time was shortened by 2.6 days in plots with clear plastic mulch than those with no mulch. The sweet corn under all mulch covers showed a significant higher yield for all varieties, though the 75 and 84 day varieties had double the yield between the mulched and no mulched sweet corn. The clear plastic mulch performed the best. It had the shortest emergence time followed by the biodegradable mulch, black mulch, and the control or no mulch. The clear plastic mulch was the tallest, followed by black plastic, biodegradable, and no mulch. And the clear plastic mulch was also the best in sugar content and the soil temperature categories amongst all the mulches. For fresh yield, in all the planting dates except the first one, the mulches perform better than the control or no mulch. So for fresh yield, there's not a clear winner. It depends on planting dates and variety. These positive results show that mulches can significantly increase sweet corn yield regardless of varieties and planting dates. Though with many benefits found in this first year, our experiment growing sweet corn with mulch also faced some challenges. Frost damage on May 18th to May 20th of 2015 killed all but one to two plants in planting date number one, which was April 15th, and the frost stunted the growth of the plants for a short time in planting date number two, which was May 1st. Rabbits damaged small plants in the first planting date of April 15th until a fence was constructed around the plots. Birds picked up seeds from the control plots and border rows, but they left the mulches alone, likely due to the reflectiveness of the mulch itself. In the second year, similar problems occurred and new problems arose. Frost damage was not as bad as the first year and did not kill many plants, but the birds again ate the seeds in the non-mulch plots and the border rows, but left the mulch plots alone. Drought conditions in the spring of 2016 yielded low emergence rates. Fargo only received four inches of rain in May and June, and this lack of rain caused stunted plants in planting date number one. No plants emerged in the no mulch areas in planting date number four because it was so dry. Hail damage happened on July 26th which damaged most of the ears by bruising them. The hail damage caused the ears to become unmarketable because not all the damage can be healed. On about half of the ears, the damage started to grow mold. The hail may affect the harvesting results, such as sugar content, weight with and without husks, cob measurements, and fresh yield. <laughs>